a terminal building, two airstrips, ground operations with landing and takeoff. At first glance, it may not appear different to other airports, but they barely see any passengers. This airport is the first ever airport in Asia dedicated exclusively to cargo. And behind me, you can see a cargo aircraft preparing to take off, carrying tons of international parcels to its destinations overseas. The advanced logistics system means express deliveries can reach any destination in China within a day, an international destination within two days. The airport has to date opened 19 cargo routes, including 13 domestic and 6 international cargo routes. These 6 international cargo routes cover countries along the Belt and Road Initiative, such as India, Kazakhstan, Belgium and others. This freight transit and cargo sorting center was developed by Shunfeng Express. 52 kilometers of intelligent sorting equipment can process nearly 300,000 items per hour. There are plans to expand the capacity to a million items per hour in the future. The city of Hezhou, where the airport is located, is actually one of the smallest prefecture-level city in China. So you may wonder why this location was selected to build such a significant infrastructure. One crucial reason, the central location plus access to the Yangtze River. With flight durations of 1.5 to 2 hours from Erzhou, you can reach the cities that contribute to 90% of the country's GDP, serving 80% of the population. The airport also distinguishes itself with excellent connectivity, seamlessly integrating water, rail, road and air transportation systems to facilitate efficient logistics operations. Hubei is the only province in China from which cargo needs to pass through two other provinces to travel abroad. An inland cargo airport makes a significant step in opening up the Chinese mainland to the outside world. Under the national strategies of both the Yangtze River Economic Belt and the Belt and Road Initiative, Urzhou Airport serves as a gateway to promote openness to the outside world. Together with airports in the first-tier cities, we represent China's participation in international aviation logistics competition. Wu says high-end manufacturing industries such as optoelectronics, biopharmaceuticals, which have a preference for air transport, can benefit. Around eight international cargo roads from Urzhou are expected to open by the end of this year. Huang Chang, CGTN, Urzhou, Hubei Province.